here is, is uh, we've got the back gates, which Scott's just closed these, these back gates here. I've got to kind of, I've got to try and like keep the boat in the middle of the, the lock or the centre because if I go up this back end, we're going to go, we're going up. So if this back end here gets caught underneath that platform, I'm in trouble. But likewise, as he's letting water in at the front, over there, as the water's coming in, it could go into the front end of the boat and make it sink. So, possibly have to, I mean, to do a bit of a dance because it's just the right length to fit in this lock. You can see the lock's quite deep, so when the water's full to the top, it's actually uh, pretty deep. You can see how much higher I am than, than that platform now. I'll watch myself here. A little bit forward. See if I can help Scott a little bit. There's a little cheeky nudge from the gate. This is the stressful part. Once you crack it, it's great fun. wider stretch of water to steer the boat on and because it's a river we can go a little bit faster I mean really we should have our life vests on but as I say we're not really going all that fast but we have opened up the engine a little bit which is fun clears the propeller out we're now letting rip it's only a short spurt of river before we join the canal again if you are wondering why you're going so fast, that's the reason. It's a river. So we're up to six. I think it's about six miles per hour. I don't know what it is in knots. But uh, it feels good. Harder to harder work by the way. So, good morning, we are moored up in a place called Murfield, M-I-R-F-I-E-L-D, outside a little just here, and there's a pub just down there. It's not like the, the, the bestest area to moor up, but we've got to pace ourselves getting back because we've got like three days to do very little journeys. So we're going to go to a place called um, Bridgeford, Bridgeton. Brick house, I think it is. Brick house. So that's how it is. I've kind of drawn to the conclusion that uh, I don't think I want to live on a canal boat. Uh, the problem with them being space, uh, if you're uh, a big guy like me, then you're walking sideways all the time. Um, the plan would be for me to not be big. I would lose, you know, get lose a lot of weight before I uh, committed to living on something like this. But uh, uh, you have to stay on top of everything all the time. You've always got to Gotta, always got to keep the place tidy because um, it I think you'd probably slip into a depression if you if the place felt became a bit of a dump uh, you can't have many things apart from the basics that you need plates cutlery pans uh, basic food um, uh, it's 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 cozy like we had lots of rain last night and that was nice it was very warm the radiators all work you can have lights on all night long it's absolutely fine and um, it's you're snug as a bug in a rug. Though I'm on, I know many boats don't have radiators, but that's how it is. Um, so it's actually really, really kind of an enjoyable short-term experience. But um, I have, can do nothing but admire people who can stay in these full-time. Um, it wouldn't be long before you start pining for space and uh, like hot baths and um, there's the the effort uh, I'm finding to put into moving 
uh, with the tying of the ropes and um, pushing the thing off and then there's the, the lovely pace of going down the canal and then when you encounter a lock and all the effort that's involved in that both from a managing the tiller point of view and also from whoever's doing the lock for you is is hard enough but to do it on your own I think it would you know I, w I wouldn't be able to do more than two or three locks a day and I'd be absolutely exhausted but then again that's a fitness issue isn't it so it's not for the unfit um, but uh, it's definitely a, a great experience to come and do it for a few days and I would probably recommend uh, no more than three or four days uh, because once you've done the sleep on board the boat for a couple of nights you you kind of like you've had that experience and that's kind of enough and it's really nice and then as we're finding like um, I guess the mistake we're possibly making is we're not wandering out and exploring where we're traveling past uh, a little bit more we should probably do that but it'd be good to have a couple of bikes on the top maybe go for a cycle and have a look so in order to fix that we are today going to see if we can wander off and find a museum or something like that so um we'll see but um it is a much slower pace of life i'm feeling very relaxed my heart rate's down to 60 more often than not throughout the day and uh, i'm really enjoying it glad you can be with me this is our first lock of the day it's not a lock it's a lock i see it says all craft there because this here is a river that we've just come down and uh, the lock is unfortunately full so what I've done is just pop the nose up just next to the door as the surge is coming out it's actually pulling the boat towards the door because it comes out billows around and, and pushes back in so it's been kind of uh, sit here just gently in reverse so I'm not hurting the door but yeah first lock of the day Well, it looks like the rain has subsided. We have got an app for predicting these things. Why do I look all purple? Why do I look that bad? Well, it looks like the rain subsided, just as I planned it would. I think we're ready to go. We held ourselves up here for 10, 15 minutes just while the torrential rain died off. And now it has Signs up, all craft. So we've come off, coming off the river again, approaching a, a lock, and then we're back on the canal. We're going to get some water here, but I think I might pretty much uh, leave the video there. I uh, hope you found that reasonably interesting. Joining us on the uh, the Calder Canal system. Um, it's been a really enjoyable trip. We still got a couple of days to go, so we're just going to chill out. I'm not going to be videoing anything else. Uh, but I hope you found that interesting. Uh, if you've got any questions about this about where I am or what we're doing just write something down in the comments below and uh, if you can please remember to subscribe that that's the algorithm that YouTube understands it's a currency that people like 
me really appreciate from viewers so you put work into filming and editing these uh, so yeah appreciate all your uh, all your support um, that's it till next time I'm signing off catch you later bye bye